My husband and I are sitting down today and we are going to go over what's coming up this week. It's a new month, it's October 1, which means we want a vision for righteous impact in October. Because the truth is, the bigger your family gets, the faster time goes, and you are moving in direction of a vision right now. Either it's a calculated vision or it's a vision of let's just wing it and see how it goes. The weeks that I know what's coming and we have a plan for each day, I have better communication with my husband, I have better communication with my kids, everybody's on task and on point. We have a vision for the day, we have a vision for the week, and it's so, so helpful. We've got a lot going on this week, a couple surprises I can't wait to share with y'all. And my husband and I set up to meet at noon. It's 11 right now. We set up to meet at noon to go over the calendar for our work, for our family, for our play, and for a very special surprise that we have coming up this week that I'll tell you about a little bit later. But before I have that meeting and let you in on all the ways that we're gonna plan our week for this week, we've gotta do some tidying around this house. So I have about an hour to get some housework done. I got some dishes, I got a kitchen to tidy, a dining room to tidy. We're gonna go crush that over the next hour and then we'll meet with daddy. Are you ready? Let's go get some chores done. So while I'm cleaning in here, tidying this up, my husband is in the laundry room installing the countertop. Let's go take a peek at how he's coming along. You knocking, looking for studs? Mm-hmm. I found one. Mm, thank you. Okay, so last night the kids put a few things away in the closet, and it's not where I want it yet, but it's a lot better. Notice we have paper products, we have diapers and wipes, but I think my favorite part is down here on the floor. I picked these up, and they're lovely. They are just like if you go to the laundromat, they're easy in, easy out, and you're not doing a bunch of lifting, which my 40-year-old self appreciates a lot. Okay, so while he is working on the laundry room, I'm gonna get to tackling this kitchen. What time is it? Ooh, I have 40 minutes to get done what I can get done. And I have three kids ages four and under. So, so let's manage our expectations, right mamas? Break! <laughs> which is kind of part for the course. Do I have time to make a nice coffee? No, we gotta get to it. <sighs> I'm gonna make a nice coffee and we'll get to the meeting. <laughs> week 
where we are designing our week as a family that doesn't have a traditional nine to five anymore. So this is a really special week. I just want to take a second and just say like, what? So we're really excited about this, but even with the traditional nine to five, we usually look at our week in three different kind of ways. Number one, daily, number two, weekly, number three, monthly. So it's a new month right now. It's a, we're looking at the month and saying, what do we want to accomplish as a family? What do we want to say that we did at the end of the month? This helps us kind of design things backwards, which is really helpful. Now we have not always been this family. We are in progress, not perfection. And I will tell you the weeks that we do this, it makes a huge impact on the way that we show up. And the weeks that we don't do it, you can really tell it's chaos. Everybody is out of order. They don't know what they're doing. And we just kind of lose, we lose steam. I will say too that I am just coming out of postpartum. So we had pushed pause on a lot of things as a family to welcome our seventh baby who is now 11 weeks old. And so we are just now really getting into momentum and feeling like we have a well-oiled machine again, which is our family. Okay, so we have really, really exciting things on the docket for October. We are headed on a family trip for a four week long trip over to Scottsdale, Arizona. We are going to be serving in a ministry. The thing I'm looking most forward to is when we get back, it'll be the beginning of November, which means Christmas decorating. The beginning of, in other words, the beginning of fall in Tulsa. Yes, kind of, maybe. <laughs> it'll be coolish. Er. <laughs> Right now, we're going to go through what we need to do this week because we work together from home. We run businesses and we run homeschool and we run a house full of nine children. Nine, nine children. I did not Can I interrupt you for there. a little bit? Yeah. And the, the reason why we do this is because Les has expectations. I love this point and thing. And I have expectations as well. And what and happens so, and when so your here's expectations the thing. are not a lot, a lot of like marriages, and Conflict. I don't know if this is going to be a marriage thing or not, but a lot of marriages like get tense because they expect, like if I go do something, you're like, wait, like yeah. I wasn't expecting that. I didn't have that. I didn't have, yeah, that, I didn't have that vision. So right, we have right. two people who have a vision. That's die vision. So your two story is, is are you just trying to get out of the house? <laughs> Which is... Right? And in my story <laughs> is, is like, what are you trying to... Are you trying to leave me with everybody? Like, what are you trying to get away? Or So we come together and we put all our expectations yeah. on, board. The, yeah, on the board, board, on the calendar to say, hey, look, this is what we're planning. Now, given there might be some spontaneous... Oh, there will be. Goes we make, on. We make room we'll, for that. We'll make room for like. Yeah, okay, we make like, room for spontaneity. Like I am the fun-loving, spontaneous one of the. Of I am the, the one who likes to work for fun. So I will I actually work for go fun somewhere. Too. It's the funnest thing ever. <laughs> Every series. Yeah. So I will. I will go somewhere, and like, hey, I'm, I'm gonna go, do this, or yeah. hey, I'm gonna go, take a walk, or I'm gonna go take a drive because I love sceneries and all that kind of stuff. The idea is intentional righteous impact and what happens if we don't at least look at our week and design and get a vision for our week what happens is we end up unintentionally having unrighteous impact because remember you are going to make an impact as a family no matter what is that impact for good or is it for harm unintentional undesigned no vision Listen, people perish. That's that's a biblical principle. Where there is no vision, people perish. And so where there is a vision, people flourish. You have to flip it to get what you want. And so I think um, we just perish like instead of like actually dying these days, we are like good chaotic. Attitude. Chaotic. <clears throat> it gets chaotic instead of like our Well it's so not we it's not like, dying like right off the bat. It's no, that's kind of what people translate it as subtle. It's subtle. You pick a fruit. You right. bring the fruit home. If you set the fruit on your counter for a long time, over time, it perishes. perishes. Okay? But if it's connected to the vine, connected to its source, it, it, it doesn't. It lives. The idea here, though, is that if you don't have a plan for your week, your week will have a chaotic 
unintentional. It will still, it will still roll. It will still go. Do you want to be in control of the puck or do you want to be chasing the puck? And we have learned the hard way that chasing the puck of your life means it's just chaos. Like things, things are going to happen. And the more plans you have in place, the better you handle when the unexpected comes. We are not rigid in our schedule. I think the big thing is, is like my weakness is structure. So I, I am, I try to make structure a part of my life. So, um, I used to, I'm, I'm so scattered. And so I need structure in order to, mm. to flourish. The purpose behind having a schedule is not so you'll be a slave to your schedule, but your schedule should serve you in your intentionality on creating righteous impact. So I want to make an impact on purpose without laying down my piece. And so I don't want to be looking at my schedule and saying like, oh no, I have to get this done at 9 a.m. And right away, like some of the meetings have times, but everything else in our schedule, I would say, is really fluid. In order for us to have better face-to-face -face intimacy, this kind of stuff actually primes the pump for us to be better friends and make more babies. All right, we are all set, ready to go. We have intentionally designed our week, obviously with very, very open hands, realistic expectations. As a mom, the biggest tip I can give other moms who are watching this is manage your expectations. I get really bitter and really sad very fast if I have unmet expectations. So I make the goals for the week. I do the best with what I can, but even notice like cleaning your house, cleaning, like even cleaning my house, I understand that the toddlers are going to interrupt me and it's not a problem. In fact, they are the work, they are the good stuff. And I am being intentional with righteous impact. I wanna remember that you know, there's always going to be dishes. There's always going to be demands in our week. There's always going to be goals that we have for the month. But as long as I am sitting down and I am taking time to intentionally come at them, oh my word, the peace, the peace that comes from that is so, so, so amazing. All right. Now that we've got that all figured out, we're going to get back to the laundry room and invest a little bit more time there. My husband went back out to the shop where he is sanding the countertop. Hopefully, We'll have that installed tonight and then tomorrow we will install the two shelves and then we'll be done. seal this baby we're gonna do the shelves next but oh my word words cannot describe how I feel about being able to fold my clothes in here it's coming along Done. Stick a fork in me. I 
have had enough. I am going to go put my feet up, enjoy this amazing Sunday night with my family. Thanks so much for hanging out with me today after breakfast. I hope you're inspired to live life intentionally. Intentional. Everything you do makes an impact, everything. So you might as well put something on the calendar and shoot for it this week. Go for it. Start the project, pencil it in this week. Pencil something in that you're aiming for this week. Be intentional, I promise you. There's so much peace in knowing that we know what's coming this week. And you know what? If the week doesn't go the way that we planned, it's no big deal. In fact, we have so many kids and our family is so big that it almost always doesn't go according to plan and that's okay. But you know what's not okay? Not having something to aim for. I love you, mama. I'll see you next time. Bye.